Psalm 31. Hebrew text 31 verse 1 is numbered 31 verse 2 through 25 because it's one so yeah probably counting these for the musical director a psalm of David as a verse huh in you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your eye, no, turn your ear to me. Come quickly to rescue me. No, come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock and of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead me, lead and guide me. Keep me free from the trap that is set for me, for you are my refuge. <coughs> Into the hand. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Hmm. Remember that for later. And the, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me too? Remember both of these things. Deliver me, Lord, my faithful God. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. As for me, I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your love. For you saw my affliction and knew the anguish of my soul. You have not given me into the hands of the enemy, but have set my feet in a spacious place. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am distressed. My eyes grow weak with sorrow. My soul and body gear with grief. May my life is consumed by anguish, and my years by gro groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction. Or Lord makes. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. H or guilt. Okay. And my bones grow weak. Because of all my enemies, I have uttered contempt of my neighbors, and an object of dread to my closest friends. Those who see me on the streets flee from me. <coughs> hmm, and her, how could this possibly be David? I am forgotten as those, as though I were dead. I have become like a like broken pottery. For hear many whispering. For I hear many whispering terror on every side. They conspire against me and plot to take my life. Hmm. No, I'm starting to believe this isn't David either. But I say, by trust in you, Lord, I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies, from those who pursue me. Let your face shine on your servant. Okay, now it's moving back. But I think we have some prophetic stuff in there. Hmm. Say me in your unfailing love. Let me not... Be put to shame, Lord, for I have cried out to you, but let the wicked be put to shame and be silent in their in the realm of God. Let their lying lips be silent with pride and contempt. No, for with pride and contempt they speak arrogantly against the righteous. How 
abundant are good, the good things that you have stored up for those who fear you, that they bestow in you all, sight of all, on those who take refuge in the shelter of the of your presence, you hide them from all humanity. Inter Jeez, something. What? I lost. Okay. You keep them safe in your dwelling from accusing tongues. <laughs> Praise be to the Lord for he showed me the wonders of his love when I was in a city under siege. In my alarm, I said, I am cut out, cut off from your sight. Yet you heard me cry for mercy when I called to you for help. Love the Lord, all his faithful people. The Lord preserves those who are true to him but the poor or but the proud he plays back and full the strong and be strong and take heart all you who help in the Lord in the Lord. Yeah, you're hoping